What is up you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing great. So in today's video, I am gonna be trying out the brand new Conceal and Define Infinite Concealer from Revolution. Everyone is talking about this freaking concealer and I feel like I need to jump on the bandwagon. So I got this package from Revolution the other day. So we have a little booklet and they have sent over six different shades of the concealer. So hopefully we'll find one that at least kind of fits me. Let's face it, never color match myself anyway, so why start now? Let's have a little look at the book. So it says, Revolution Conceal and Define just got infinitely bigger. It says it's 60 now wear, 60 shades. We like that. So I'm just looking and it says, there are two different sizes. I have the smaller size, so these are five mil. Let me just like check, ooh, there's a lash on my Huda Beauty concealer there. Let me just check this. So there's 10 mil in the Huda Beauty concealer. Now I'm on like a concealer hunt to find out how much product is in every concealer. 3.4 in the Jeffree Star one. I forgot, there's not really much product in the Jeffree Star one, is there? So yeah, this is the smaller one that has five mil product, but then they also do an XL, which has nine mil. In the five mil, there are 60 shades. In the XL, there are 24, if that makes sense. So this size here costs six pounds, and then the larger size, the XL, costs nine pounds. There's a lot of writing here. It says there's 20% more coverage. It says it's crease-proof, cakeless, and breathable full coverage application. Yeah, I'm excited about this one. I like the original concealers, so looking forward to giving this one a go. So what I'm gonna do now is put on a little bit of foundation. I think I'm just gonna use the MUA Pro Base one. I'll leave my under eyes and everything fairly foundation-free just so we can see what kind of coverage the concealer does have. Um, so yeah, see you in a minute when I'm looking very, very beige. So like I said, they sent me six shades. I've narrowed it down to three, two realistically. That one's definitely gonna be too dark for me. I think I'm gonna try out C5 because this says it is for light skin tones with a golden undertone. Because then the other one that I have is for light medium skin tones with a yellow undertone. So yeah, I'm just gonna try out the C5. I haven't even seen what kind of doe foot it is. Okay, so it's another big boy doe foot like the other concealers that they do. Let's do a little swatch of the color, okay. That looks all right to me. To be honest, like just the way it's applying on my hands and everything, it does just look like the original Conceal and Define. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a couple of swipes under my eyes like that. And then I take my sponge and just tap that in. Okay, whoa, well, yeah, that, that's got coverage. That's got a whole lot of coverage, wow. It looks very smooth under my eyes at the moment as well. Like obviously I know I haven't got any powder or anything and I haven't let it like settle into my skin, but it does look very, very smooth. So I'm just gonna take a tiny little bit more and just pop that right on the inner corner there. And I'm gonna tap with my finger just cause I always find that that gives me a little bit more coverage right on the inner corner. Just kind of something that I always do. You know what? I actually prefer using it with a sponge. I feel like with the finger, it looks a bit more matte than I would maybe like. Yeah, that's looking pretty good so far. Now that it is drying down, I am noticing a bit more creasing, but I mean, again, I always say this, my under eyes always crease. They always crease just around here, like not so much actually like on my under eyes, but just kind of on like my lower eyelids. Again, I'll just insert a little macro shot of how it's all looking. So that's how we're looking under my eyes right now. So you can see it's not completely matte. It has still got a nice little bit of a glow. Okay, let's even me up a little bit. So I'm gonna take another little swipe. One, two, three, and just blend all that in again. I gotta say, it really does blend out very, very easily and very quickly. I'm a full coverage queen right now. So that's the concealer. Whole lot of coverage. So now I'm gonna put some on my lids as well, just to even me out a touch. And I might even do a couple of little dots like around my nose here. Get rid of a little bit of redness. Chinny chin chin. And then I've got a few kind of like leftover spots here. So I'll just cover those up. Pencil that in my sponge. It doesn't seem to dry down too quickly either. Like I obviously put all of that on my face and now going back around to it, it's not like it's dried down or anything. So you do have a little bit of time to kind of play with it. Yeah, we're looking good so far. So now to powder it all down, I'm gonna be going in with my Laura Mercier powder. I use it all the time. It's probably like my most used powder. So I find it's like the best one to kind of compare everything to. So I'm just gonna tap a little bit in the lid there. And I'm just gonna take my Sigma Spotlight Duster Brush. Okay, so I'm just gonna blend out any creasing under my eyes. It's looking quite matte. So I am a little bit wary about powdering this down, but let's do it. I've taken a very small amount of powder as well. Okay. Just looks a little bit more like dry. Whereas before without the powder, it looked a lot more hydrating. And I really, like you can see, I've like got barely any powder actually like on my brush. So it is very, very matte. I wouldn't say it's creaseless either because I mean, I've got a few concealers here. I've got the infallible one. I've got the Huda Beauty and the Jeffree Star. None of these really crease on me 
like this one does. It's not creasing really badly. Like it's absolutely fine. There's not actually really like a big problem with it, but I, if they're saying it's creaseless, I wouldn't agree with that. Like now it's drying down, it's looking a lot more matte and I'm scared of it. Let me just go ahead and even up this side here. Mm, yeah, it does just look a little bit dry on my under eyes. And I mean, like I put on quite a hydrating primer and moisturizer a minute ago. I mean, I'm not hating it by any means. I like it. I'm just kind of like, if you're saying it's creaseless, like I can, I can see some creases in it. It's only been about five minutes. And I know this sounds weird, but if I like squint my face like that, it does just look very kind of like dry and liney. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't say this is creaseless. I wouldn't say it's like creasy. I'd say it's just very kind of like standard creaseness of concealer. Like, you know what I mean? Like it's not, it's not really bad, but it's also like, it's definitely not creaseless. I don't know, it's just, it's just a concealer. Like I'm more impressed by the coverage than anything else. Yeah, I'm thinking like, I know it's early days, but I'm thinking it might be a little bit too matte for me, a little bit too drying for me. I will use it, like it is still a nice concealer. And obviously we've got to see like how it wears and everything like that. But so far, I do think I prefer the Conceal and Define Hydrating Concealer. That's definitely a lot more up my street. If you have oily skin or if you do like more of a matte look, then you might prefer this. It does have insane coverage. Just right now I'm thinking, I do prefer the original two. Okay, so I'm now just gonna go and do my usual thing, whack a load of makeup on my face. I will check back with you guys in a second, show you how everything is looking like on top of the concealer. So yeah, see you all in a minute. All right guys, got my full face on, and right now I'm actually really liking how the concealer looks. It is still looking a little bit creasy, but not that much more creasy than like, a usual concealer that I use. I do feel like now I've got like my full face on and everything and now it's actually like sunk into my skin and I guess kind of like blended with the natural oils in my skin. It does look a lot better and a lot less dry, but at first it was looking a little bit, yeah, just a little bit dry. So I'll just give you guys a quick little close up as to how everything is looking right now. So the time right now is 13 minutes past 11. I don't have anything crazy planned for today. I never really do on these filming days. I live in the middle of nowhere. Where the hell am I gonna go? But I will be keeping this makeup on for a little while. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the near future. Who knows what time it'll be, let's see. All right guys, it's now um, two in the morning. I watched a film with Ollie on the sofa about 10 o'clock and I fell asleep and I just woke up, uh, which is why I don't have contacts in, so sorry if it is throwing some of you off. But um, yeah, that's why I'm like here so late and that's why I'm looking a bit like this. Okay, so I haven't actually looked at myself close up. Okay, so I, I can see where I have my hand when I was sleeping, like I was sleeping like this. Um, so I, I, can, I can see the remnants of that. Obviously we're all here for the concealer right now which makes it okay for me to like wipe the drool out of my face. This has creased quite a lot. I mean, it has been, how many hours has it been? 12, 15 hours? So to be fair, I've ended up doing like, it's probably not even 15 hours, I just woke up, so I don't even know how much it is. But to be fair, I've had this on for almost the length of time that they say it'll last up until. Does that make sense? It has creased more throughout the day, but it hasn't creased like that much compared to how it was at first. So like not much has really changed. But they live underwater. Yeah, it's not looking too bad to be fair. I wouldn't say it was creaseless. I would say it's long wearing because I mean, evidently it has like stayed on my face even through sleeping. So yes, I do like it. I just don't think it's like as like 10 out of 10 amazing as they maybe make it out to be. It's a good concealer for like five pounds or however much it was. Is it gonna rival some of my other favorites? Probably not. I would personally probably rather stick to the Conceal and Hydrate um, concealer. So yeah, it's not my fave, but I think that's more so down to the fact that I do just like something that's a little bit more hydrating and then my under eyes do just crease a lot more with this. So yeah, it's not my fave out of the bunch, but it's still a good concealer for a fiver. So yeah, I rate it. Is it like the most amazing concealer I've ever tried in my life? No. But is it good for five quid? Is it easy to get? Does it have a lot of colors? Yes, so yes, I like it. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully some of you found it helpful. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.